Let's derive the formula for resistors in parallel. Now, the most important thing is that when resistors are in parallel, notice that each one has a direct connection to the positive plate of the power supply, and each one has a direct connection to the negative plate of the power supply. Therefore, they have the same voltage across them. So the total voltage coming out of the power supply is equal to the voltage across the first resistor, which is equal to the voltage across the second resistor. Now, the current that comes out of the power supply, let's call this I, well, it's the total current coming out of the power supply, so I'll call it I total. The current splits. Some of the current goes here, call that I1. Some of the current goes down here, call that I2. And then it comes back. The two currents recombine, so this is also the total current down here, and then back home. So for the current, well, the total current is equal to I1 plus I2. Great. Well, let's start with that total current formula and Ohm's law. Well, Ohm's law states that the current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So if I start with the total current here equaling I1 plus I2, I can then plug in for Ohm's law and I get V total over the total resistance. Remember, with Ohm's law, you just have to be consistent. If you're talking about the total current, you're talking about total voltage, total resistance. If you're talking about the current going through the first resistor, then you're talking about the voltage dropped across that resistor divided by the resistance of that resistor. And similarly for the second guy. Now, we can use the fact that the voltages are all the same. So the voltage across R1 is the same as the voltage across R2, which is the same as the total voltage. So if I plug that in, I get V over R total equals V over R1 plus V over R2. And now what I'll do is I'll multiply both sides by 1 over V. And remember, I can do whatever I want as long as I do the same thing to both sides. And so if I do that, then I see that this guy cancels here. And considering the first factor cancels, second factor also cancels. If this bothers you, just factor out the V first, and then you'll see that they cancel easily. So what are we left with? Well, we're left with the fact that for resistors in parallel, the total resistance of the circuit is equal to 1 over the first resistor plus 1 over the second resistor, and so on, as many as you have in parallel. Excellent. Let's do a quick um, example, and I'll do it right down here. Let's say that R1 is equal to 2 ohms, and R2 is equal to 4 ohms. So Right here, I'm talking about these two guys. What's the total resistance of the circuit? Well, rule of thumb, I know that the total resistance, and this is true always when you have resistors in parallel, has to be less than the smallest value of 2 ohms. Because even without this guy, you have 2 ohms. And um, when you add that guy, you just add another path for the current. So you make it even easier for current to come out of the power supply. So let's now go about finding the total resistance. Well, our total is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. That's equal to 3 fourths. And therefore, the total resistance is equal to 4 thirds of an ohm. And sure enough, it's less than 2 ohms. Great. Resistors in parallel.